Barnsley boxers Dempsey Whale and Danny Hall both extended their winning runs at the Metrodome on Friday night. Brampton's Whale beat Hull's Luke Fash 40-36 in a one-sided affair to move to 9-0 and as a professional. Wearing the black and orange shorts with a perfect professional record, eight fights and eight wins from Brampton in Barnsley. Let's see the Dempsey! Granthorpe's boxing Bricky Hall had a tougher evening, but he dug in to defeat tough Cameroonian Serge Ambomo on points. He's now four unbeaten. After the show, I caught up with Dempsey. Right, Dempsey, uh, win number nine. Yep. Uh, another night at lining at Metrodome. What is your uh, analysis? Good performance, all in all, pal. Um, against a really tough operator in Luke Fash, definitely the toughest kid I've ever been in with. Um, I don't like fighting kids like that because obviously it's, I know what they do, Jeremy, and that, but it's, um, it, it, were a, it were a late replacement. Full respect to him. Um, I. I um, it, it were a bit of a one-sided beat down, if I if I say so. But um, I, I, I tried picking my shots, working behind my jab, and that I've hurt both my hands. Um, <laughs> really hard head, really hard kid. Um, but yeah, good, good performance. I think Paul felt. Obviously, I'm, I'm used to doing six. I was meant to be doing an eight. Ended up doing a four, so I had to try and condense it down a bit. Um, I felt like I was just getting started in fourth round. Um, but another win, Paul, and my more experience. We'll move on. Threw everything but the kitchen sink at him, didn't you? Well. That's what I've heard, but to be honest with you, I think I were a bit, I'll, I'll, I'll pacing it a bit. To be honest, pal, I feel like I could have done a lot, a lot more in a lot, a lot shorter space, and I just felt like I'll get going. To be honest, uh, I, I was just popping my jab and then picking shots a bit, and and, and people have said it, it I, I really get it in, but I, I try not to too much. To be honest, I'll picking my shots, and but obviously that's a good thing. Yeah, the momentum keeps going now. Keeps yeah, rolling on. Yeah, unbeaten journey continues, as my dad says, and. Um, like I said, I always say all I've got to do is keep winning and things happen, and, and they are happening. I'm, I'm headlining in my own town, and fair enough, I'm not picking up stoppages every time and stuff, but these kids, they don't get stopped. They're, they're incredibly hard, and, and I've got ultimate respect for Luke there. He, he, he came in as, as a replacement, and he took he took everything there, and, 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 he gave, and he's had 97 fights, and he gave me some really good praise at the end of that. He said, I'm a very, very good kid, and I'm going to go places, and getting that from a kid that's as tough and as... as Experienced as he is, I mean that, that's a compliment in itself. So, and a post-fight cup of tea. And a post-fight cup of tea, yeah, that, that's all I need, pal. That's all I've been looking forward to. I had one for like, two days, so I've uh, I've enjoyed my cup of tea. That, that's all I want, mate. Yeah, win winning a cup of tea. So we're on to uh, July then. Now that's your yeah. next focus. July the first, back at Metrodome. Yep. Uh, what were you hopeful of uh, in, that, in that? I don't. Fight? I don't want to. Say, oh, pal, it's for my dad and Josh to say. I, I, I just want to get in there and perform. But I, I won't, I'm sparring ten rounds in gym. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fit. I'm, I'm running eight, nine, ten mile, um, and, and I get back. And sometimes I'm not even out of breath, pal. So I'd like, I do want to push myself and see if I can do ten rounds. But I don't want to rush out. If, if I'm ready, that's what will happen. And, and my dad and Josh will make it happen.